folks. Welcome to this lovely month of March. And we've maintained the bull rally throughout January and February. And we've had quite a bit of momentum stocks that are slightly overbought here. At the same time, some rotation that's been quite obvious for the last several months. Before we get started, risk disclosure, risk disclosure, risk disclosure. Moving on. Oh, who is that lovely blonde there in that picture? Moving on. Okay. So it was a little bit challenging to find shares that were not getting totally overextended. I love the steel stocks. I recommended that CMC a while ago that finally had a lovely breakout. STLD, NUE, even US Steel starting to come to life. But we don't want to go chasing some of these. And on the other hand, I just wanted to put out an interesting idea. And that's that's to start watching some of these lithium stocks because they've now had a, a bit of a trading range after a huge markup for two months and we're having a decent pull back. So here's an idea for you to consider once you've it, in the throes of a bull market, you obviously want to ride the momentum stocks. That's pretty commonly accepted. However, when we start to enter a little bit more of a rotational environment, you might consider looking for the laggards, the pullbacks in some of the stocks that are still at the lower end of a trading range. So with this stock, I consider this to be at the lower end of a bigger giant box. That's what it's trying to form right in here. And if you wish to read a further treatise on this concept, read Gary Anderson's award-winning book, The Janus Factor, where he talks about when to buy the momentum stocks and when to buy the ones that have had a good pullback to the bottom of their range. So this falls into that category. Moving on, Newmont. Okay, if you've been following my work, I've been a bear on gold since August. Now, what was my main motivation? The main motivation was simply that the sentiment readings for gold were so excessively frothy in August after having this stupendous markup for two years that it needed a lot more consolidation. And then, of course, nobody can figure out why gold selling when Bitcoin and everything else is rallying. And then recently, you could see the market was probably pricing in a bit of a, a blip up in real rates. And that puts a lot of pressure on these um, precious metals. So I'm thinking that because we've had such a good, healthy blip up in the real rates right now, that that could be priced into the market. And you can see here on this Newmont, this is a weekly chart. So this is just how long this particular issue has consolidated weeklies. Once again, it's at the bottom end of its range. So you could make some type of support. So start monitoring this on the daily charts. It might be more of an investment type of position in that it's not going to be the hot potato like some of these crazy ones we've seen, but uh, certainly just about all gold shares fall into this same category. A real mishmash of stuff here. I mean, Ford's just been on fire. I've been holding that stock. I love it. I think you can still buy it. However, it starts to feel a bit uncomfortable chasing some of these things. And I thought that this gorgeous consolidation in General Motors looked like it was just starting to make a possible new leg up. And you can see the increase in volume that came after the upside breakout from the six to seven to eight bar balance area. So all systems are poised to turn up should it 
desire. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't always force it to drink. But I like General Motors here. I don't see any reason why it can't take out this previous high and give another move to the upside. Ooh, Stanley Black and Decker. Whoever talks about this stock, it's been a real steady eddy here. And I just again want you to notice that this is first off a weekly chart. So super steady on the weeklies. Chop off this little slip on the ice here. And it's just been a grinder of an uptrending channel. And I really like the potential for this first bar up here on the weeklies to get some legs to it. So um, just a, a completely different theme there. You know, it's uh, such a herd mentality out there right now. You know, I like to hunt and think of what's outside the wheelhouse. OK, lastly, this has been one of my all time favorite stocks, and it is not a recommendation per se to buy right at this point. But keep in mind, we always need to put together a shopping list so that if the market has a nice little blip down, maybe a 3% or 5% correction, tough to tell these days when you've got so much cash on the sidelines, but start stocking this one for a chance to reload their agriculture, financial components, all the critical elements you want to see. So a little bit of everything there, have patience, treat this market a little bit more gently and that you just can't go chasing the way that we could have um, last quarter and January and February. So with that said, wishing you guys all a good month of March and I will see you again very soon online. Hey guys, Dave Keller here with StockCharts.com. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, and we hope you did, hit the like button right below. Also, we have so much new content every day. Consider subscribing to the channel. Just hit the subscribe button in the video or right below. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have a fantastic day.